On two tonight, a Grinch caught on camera. Surveillance video captures the moment he or she found their target. Seconds later, that thief broke in and stole everything the family planned to put under their Christmas tree. And all of those gifts were in a storage unit because the mom did not want her children to find them before Christmas morning. Problem is, a thief did find them, and now this family is devastated. Andy Sirota has the story only on two tonight. Andy, we see this kind of crime every single year, and they just get more and more heartbreaking. Bill, you're absolutely right. Right behind me here is the shop that Alex Belt owns. Very popular with folks here in the memorial area. Some of what she sells here at the shop, she keeps in a storage unit just down the street from where we are. She went out and bought some Christmas gifts for her three girls. Thought she'd keep them down there in the storage unit because she thought they'd be safe there. As a business owner and single mother to three girls, Alex Belt is always planning ahead, especially for Christmas. I usually shop about three months ahead of time and buy a little bit at a time, and I buy everything online. She didn't want her girls to find their gifts, so she hid them in a nearby storage unit where she keeps all of her overflow merchandise from the store. What Alex wasn't counting on was this a thief caught on camera pulling up to her storage unit and then breaking in and helping himself to everything inside. I opened it up, was just shocked. There was just boxes thrown everywhere, and all everything was gone. All they left behind. Was a huge mess. The thief and his female accomplice got away with close to $10,000 worth of items in about 11 minutes. I'm a single mother and I work so hard for everything that I have. I mean, everything. And so for someone just to come in and just rob me and take everything that I had, and it's just. It's just sickening. Alex doubts she'll ever see her things again and hopes the thieves get what's coming to them. I would like for them to know what it feels like one day because it's just it's just a violation of everything that you have. Alex Bell contacted the police and her insurance company. No arrests have been made yet. We're live in the memorial area tonight. Andy Sirota, KPRC, Channel 2 News.